Are you trying to figure out how can you make a living and take care of other people in your family at the same time? Listen, we all need to learn a new magic trick every now and then. I'm sorry, I'm kicking the stand and everything. I don't want to kick the camera over. Look, we all need a new magic trick every now and then. Stick around to the end and I'll tell you exactly how you can put some money in your pocket and best be able to take care of your parents at the same time. All right, until then, listen, I don't know if you know, but the relative you're currently taking care of may be eligible for a paid caregiver under the state of Delaware long-term health care plan. Now listen, I know it sounds kind of crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home, only to be taken care of by strangers because the family members didn't have the time, the money, or the resources that it takes to be able to take care of a, uh, a family member in the home. All right, now listen. Everybody needs to make a living, and providing care can be very time-consuming, making a decent-paying caregiver job just out of reach for most voluntary family caregivers. Miss Williams, how you doing today? So look, what if I was to tell you that it was possible for you to get paid for doing the work that you're already doing, caring for your loved ones? How you doing today? My name is Kion Church, and I'm the founder and administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. Now, Reliable Aid, Inc. is a personal assistance service agency that compensates family members who have had to leave their personal lives and move back home in order to take care of their aging parents and loved ones. And yes, in many cases, help them get paid at the same time. So listen, what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is the missing puzzle piece that you need to put this thing all together, all right? Now listen, you may be eligible to be paid as a direct care worker to help your loved one with their activities of daily living or what's more commonly known as the tasks of self-care that are performed by your loved one, either independently, with supervision, or with assistance. All right, so these activities of daily living are, these activities of daily living include, but are not limited to ambulating or helping them move from one place to another, transferring them or helping them move from a bed to a stretcher, a bed to a wheelchair, a wheelchair to a chair, a wheelchair to a toilet, or vice versa. Also, grooming, which may include such things as helping someone bathe, dress, or shave, or helping them with other personal activities that could be difficult, like meal preparation and eating. All right, and I know what you're probably thinking. Listen, KC, if this thing applied to me, I'd already know about it. You know what I mean? So some people think I'm wasting my breath. But the problem is that many people believe that these caregivers need specific trainings and or certifications in order to do the job. And what they do is they just say, hey, that's not me. And they exclude themselves right from there. But listen, nothing could be further from the truth. What Reliable Aid Inc. does is we help family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency. Guess what that's called? Reliable Aid Inc. Duh. <laughs> right. So how do we do that, Casey? How the heck are you going to pay me to do what I'm already doing? Topic of the day, how can I bring more income into the household, you know, and take care of my family? Well, Reliable Aid Inc. is contracted with Medicaid as a health care service provider. And what we do is we hire family members just like you to take care of their loved ones in the home. So listen. If you with me, drop me a couple hearts, drop me a couple likes. Listen, if you picking up what I'm putting down, this is probably for you. You know what I mean? Are you tired of uh, trying to stretch your pockets and make it happen? Why? If your parents are in the program, if your loved one is qualified, they got Medicare, they're in a long-term health care program, why are you struggling? Let me connect the paycheck to your pocket. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. I love saying the number, man, because when I say it, sometimes people call me. They really call me. And they say, look, Casey, I need some help. My parents in a long-term health care program. What are we going to do? Listen, that's easy. I'm going to sign you up. Um, like I say, Reliable Aid Inc. is a Medicaid in-home health care service provider. They pay us to send people to the house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hire you because you're already at the house. And I'm going to pay you to take care of the person that you're already taking care of. Now, if that right there doesn't send off some kind of like bing, bing, bing in, in your mind, man, because I think that's the greatest show on earth. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, let me know how you feel about it, though. You know what I mean? I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to overstep my boundaries by trying to put some money into your pocket to help you and your family be more comfortable because you might say, hey, Casey, it's all good around here. 
So, you know, everything ain't for everybody. But if you could use a little help and you, you qualify, call me. 302-689-3240. Look, don't be afraid to check me out on the podcast, anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. We also on uh, YouTube, you know, like that, leave a comment. Let the people know you down with the big hearted caregiver. You know what I mean? Also, you know, start a watch party on here. You know, you got that broke cousin that's that's at his mom's house on the couch. And, you know, they just sitting there. You know, mom's struggling. He helping her out. He's struggling. She's in the program. Why don't you call him? Start a watch party. Tag his name at the bottom. Hey, cuz. KC will help you out. You know what I mean? Put it on. Y'all can't see my fingers, but I'm typing. <laughs> so, look. Do what you got to do, man. Let's get it started. Call me if you need some help. Talk to you soon. And listen. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing. We only doing this to get our blessings. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing else I can say about that unless you don't like blessings. You know, then, you know, this show ain't even for you. All right. So stick with me. We'll be on the main channel soon. Talk to you in a minute. All right. Love you.